everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the uh, X cuboid from Calvin's Puzzles. So, um, this to solve this, you'll need to know how to solve the 3x3. Three three. Um, you'll need to know how to solve the 5x5x5 five five by five centers. Um, and you'll need to know... Well, I mean, that's pretty much it, actually. You only need to know how to solve the 5x5 five five centers. And you need to know how to fully solve a 3x3. Three three. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get scrambled. Now, the way you scramble... Sorry, I'm going to get started. So, <laughs> sorry, I mix those words up. Um, so, well, yeah, let's just get started. So, the way you scramble this is actually... So, first of all, you scramble it without changing the shape. So, you could do turns like that, or that, or like that... But don't do turns like that, and then that, because that starts changing the shape. I'm just gonna. Okay, so I tried recording this video before, but um, when I was recording it, the cube broke, like it, like it, it just broke. So I had to fix the entire X cuboid, like all the pieces from like all each of these little one by pieces. Now I'm making this video again. So, yeah, so you can just do these sorts of turns, maybe like those kinds of turns, and then just, well, yeah, just pretty much just scramble it however you want to, um, so yeah, so I'll do that, and I'll be right back, actually, no, I'm just going to show you, so once you've, like, you've scrambled it pretty good, what you can do is you can, um, You can just like, okay, so now you can start changing the shape. So, for example, now you can start going like that, and then that, and then that, and then. So, like, start changing the shape of the cube. So, I'll scramble this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have scrambled it, and now let's start solving it. So the first thing you need to do is find the white center, and you pretty much just need to. So I'm just gonna put some, like, make it like so. So and then you just need to start kind of solving it like three by three. So that is a centerpiece, that is an edge piece, and then you need to get the white cross. So I'm just gonna do it, I guess, um, without explaining that much. Because, as I said, if you want to solve this cube, then you should already know how to solve the other two. Because, I mean, it, it'll just be too hard to explain it if you don't know how to solve the other, the other two cubes. So, now you've got the white cross and then the corners. So, that's pretty easy to do. And there's no colors for the corners. It's just, you see a white corner, you can place it anywhere. Because, like, if you, so, let me find a white corner. Yeah, that's, that looks... That looks workable. Okay, so for example, that kind of corner. Um, these two cor these two pieces are attached to that corner forever, but these two don't change where you can place them in. So you can just place that white corner in anywhere. So anywhere in any one of these three spots, it doesn't really matter. So that you can. So that I mean that makes it a bit faster, a bit less tedious to um solve the cube. So, well, once you get that done, I mean, it's just a really big puzzle. It's pretty hard to turn it. Um, okay. Let's do that. Okay, so there you go. So you don't need to get that part. You don't need to get these parts, okay? Just ignore that. Pretend it isn't there. You just need to get these nine squares. Okay, but I'm just going to put that up there because it looks more finished. Uh, let's see if I can make these other ones look more finished. Okay, just never mind. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it And to solve the white face. Now you can see that this entire first layer is automatically solved because we solved that bit. And wow, these, two, these three blocks are perfectly solved. That's white, that's green, that's red and orange. Okay, that is just, I think I didn't scramble it that good, but that's alright. Um, so, yeah, I've got that. 
And then now we can move on to the middle layer. And so I have it. So we're looking for pieces with kind of like two edge pieces. So pieces like that. Uh, whereas pieces like this only have one and they don't have another one. So this is like pieces like that, which have two edge pieces. And so that one needs to go into this hole there where there's only one edge piece. So this is a two edge piece. This is the two edge piece. That's a two edge piece. And then, so I'm just going to insert that into there. Um, just a normal algorithm. Um, not that hard. Normal 3x3 three three solving. Um, okay, wow. Well, it's really hard to turn this thing. Okay, and... Great, are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Okay, I'll try to fix this on camera because I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure that this can be done pretty quickly. Yeah, there you go, it's done. Okay, so put that center in. Great, so yeah, I already know the internal mechanisms of this because it broke for me once and I had to fix it all over again. So now we've done the first two layers, and luckily I only had one edge to put in, so it didn't take that long. Okay, now we're going to move on to the final layer. So right now I have um, that, that, and then... Okay, so I have that, so one, and then that, so that's kind of a cross. Not really, but kind of. So you can just, you know, just solve it. Like normal. Yeah. I mean, I might just skip this part actually. So, I mean, you should know how to solve a 3x3 three three if you're going to solve this attempt to solve this cube. But, um, I had the same problem last time. I mean, I, yeah, so just one second, I'll be right back. Yes, okay, I finally worked it out. So, basically, what you need to do now is you need to flip one of these edges. And so, before I mentioned that you can put them in anywhere, and, yeah, I for sorry, I forgot to mention that. So, you can put that one in there, that one in there, it doesn't really matter. But now I just need to flip one of them because of, because, okay, so if you either have one, if you either have three, or if you either have one yellow um, edge piece, well, just... Ignore these outer sides for now. Just focus on this main 3x3 three three center. So pretend these four are edge pieces, these four are corner pieces, that's a center piece. So if you only have three yellow edge pieces or one yellow edge piece, then what you're going to do is you're going to flip one of these edges. Doesn't matter which one. So I'm just going to flip, uh, which one should I flip? I'm just going to flip that one. So basically what you can do is you can take it out and then put it back in. So, um... I mean, there is, I know there are easier ways to do this with other, like, algorithms, but I only know the beginner's method, so I'm just going to do it that way. But if you know an easier method to put that, bring that out and put it back in but flipped, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, but I don't, so I'm just going to do the beginner method. So pretty much that. So what I'm doing is I'm pretending... One of the other corners, one of the, like, another random edge is the correct one. And then I'm going to place it in with a fake one. Okay, so now I brought that out. And then I'm just going to place it in, but backwards. Okay, so um, if you know any faster ways, you can... Again... Again? Are you serious? <sighs> At least it's very easy to fix. Okay. I think these are the same two pieces from last time. I don't know. Okay. So, finally, now I have that. And if I look on the bottom, there's only two. Yay! So, if you had either one or three, you would do what I just did. If you didn't have any, like, if you had a, another number, then you would get this. Okay, so now that's the L shape, so I can just, you know, do that, that, and then that, that, okay, and then I get that, so now, so I've done the yellow cross, now for the corners, 
and to do the corners, I just need to find one, okay, and you just do the soon algorithm, okay, alright, now that, okay, so you just uh, keep doing this, I mean, like, you just, you know, get the full yellow center using a normal 3x3, three three and bam, there you go. So, you don't have to do any edge orienting or corner orienting stuff, because this is only the center, and there's only one face in that. So, now we have the entire cube in its proper shape by solving it like 3x3, three three, which is, which is kind of weird, because, I mean... It's just weird. And so now, to solve these side thingies um, over here. So we've solved everything but the side thingies. And to solve the side thingies, you need to know how to solve a 5x5 five five centers. So, I mean, except for the first two. So imagine that was the first 5x5 five five center, five five center you do. And then that was the second 5x5 five five center you do. Um, with the beginner method, I don't know if you do it a different way in other 5x5 five five methods. And then you're going to solve these 5x5 five five centers, right? So you just do that. And um, pretty much, so you need to get a bar. I'm just going to start on red because that's what I usually start on in 5x5. Five five. But you need to make sure that when you're doing it, you, you can't just have any bar. You need to have opposite colors. For example, white. So if you imagine white going there, then yellow needs to be there. Or if you had blue, then blue, blue, that's green. Blue would, blue would face this way, right? So you would need a green one on that side. So you can't just have a bar like that because they're not opposites. So, yeah, you need to make it um, perfectly opposite. Um, just searching for another red to complete that bar. Okay, that yellow there. Yellow, something like that. Okay, so now I have a red, oh sorry, a white and yellow red bar. And then I'm just going to do that so it's in the middle. And and I know they're opposites because if you do that, it matches up. If you do that, it matches up. So then you do like, you make it horizontal. So that if we turn these layers, no matter how much we turn them, it won't get deformed. Now we make another bar, and oh, great, okay, this bar is already done, alright, so I can just slot that in, so the white is on top, so like that, and slot that in. Make sure not to slot this on the other side, otherwise it could, I mean, okay, if, let's just, I'll just show you. So if I slot this on the other side, the, the red side may look finished, but this doesn't match up. So this white and yellow, this white and yellow, it doesn't match up. So you need to make sure it's on the proper side of that. I was lucky I already had that red bar. Okay, next, so that, and oh, I see a red corner. Okay, so I'm just going to put that up there. And like that. It's blue, blue. Okay, so it goes like that. And where's the other red corner? Over here. So I can bring that there. And then, um, and then, okay, so I can push that corner down. Um, oh no, I broke this thing. How do I push that corner down? Okay, so I push that corner down. And then I do that, that, okay, and then that. Alright, finally, so now I have that entire red side solved. And just match it to the white and yellow so now one side down three more to go and i might just skip this blue one because it's basically the exact same as that one except you need to make sure you need to make sure to return these so if you do one move like that you can do whatever you want on here but then you have to do that move back so that this red gets fixed so i'm um, pretty much the same thing and you should already know how to solve five by five centers anyway because otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video so yeah, I'm just going to pause this, do that one, and then for the last turn, I'm going to show you something, because that can be pretty difficult. I just noticed something right now. So, the, so if you see that, that is a blue and orange edge, but if you see that, that's also a blue and orange edge. So, I mean, you just have to focus on which color is up the top, 
and then that will be the color you want. So that is an orange, that that would be on the orange face, that would be on the blue face. So that, that needs to go there. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll come back again. Okay, one more thing. So the, so that is a orange, blue, and white corner. And I just saw it before, where'd it go? Oh yeah, that is also an orange, blue, and white corner. So you, you really need to be careful. It's what color is on top. So that's an orange corner. That's a blue corner. So yeah, once again, you need to be pretty careful. And also, when you're putting in one of the bars, what you can do is you have to put it on the opposite side so that when you're putting in the final bar, it'll make it a whole lot easier. So put it on the opposite side like that and then turn it down. Um, I'm just saying this because when you're putting the final bar in, let's just say that's a final bar. You go up like that, you t turn it around, and then that, and that bar is automatically in the correct position. So that's just to make the final bar extremely easy. So when you're inserting the final bar, I'll, I'll come back again later. Okay, so when you're putting the final bar in, put it into the side with, an, with a bar already there. So put the bar in like that. Turn it around, bring the bar down. And finally, another side down, done. So you can turn that to match, and there you go, one, and two sides, finished. Now, the final two. So the final two, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna solve one of them. So I'm just gonna do orange, because I've done red, blue, and then I wanna just keep going down. So I'm gonna do orange. So once you've done orange, then for the green, there'll be some final parity cases that you'll need to solve. So just focus on orange. If you solve orange, doesn't necessarily mean that green will also be solved, like in the normal 5x5, because these edge thingies might still not match up. So it might look all green on top, but these edge is might not solve. So just focus on solving this one properly, and then uh, this one, you'll just have to do that at the end. Okay, once again, when you're putting the final bar in, put it in backwards. So put it in like that because it'll make the final bar a lot easier like in that one. So this is just the same as that one. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty much the exact same as that one. So I'm just going to show this last bit on camera because why not? So yeah. And um, okay, wow, I messed that up. Why do I keep messing this up? Okay. How do I do this? Okay, I mean, it's... What? Hmm... Let me just try putting it in that edge. Okay, so you can just put it in that edge if you really need to. Um, oh, wait, what? Hmm. Oh, this one needs to go on that side, and that one needs to go on this side. Okay, I can do that. Okay, so now I just flipped that again, so it's good. Um, okay, sorry, shouldn't put that in there. Okay, so now you've got that, and so I can put it on the on the same bar, flip it, bring it down, and bam! Now, if this was a five by five, I mean, okay, yeah, and then you can reorient that. Um, if this was a normal 5x5 five five centers, then you'll be like, yay, I finished, but it isn't, so, I mean, it, it might, it, it is really close to finishing, like, we're on the final step here, um, but we still need to solve this thing, so like I said before, the top is green, but these sides don't match up, 
So to solve these sides, there are a couple of cuboid algorithms. So the three by three by five. And uh, if you know how to solve the final layer of a three by three by five, then you'd know how to solve these. But um, so I, I'll just tell them to you now. Okay, so now we have to hold this on the top and the cube like this. You can hold it that side as well, but I mean, this side j j works just as fine. So looking around, well, the first thing we need to do is sort out all the corners and you need to find two of the corners that look the same. So I mean, two of the corners that have the same color on one side. So that right there has the same color. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't. So if all of them are correct, then you can just move on to the next step. If one of them are done, then you'll do this algorithm. If there are none, then you can do this algorithm with it. Oh, no, okay, if you have one pair of the corners matching, then put them to the left, so the left, and then do the algorithm that I'm that I will show you but if you have none then you can just put it on any one and it doesn't really matter you can just put anything on the left side and then do the algorithm so the algorithm basically swaps these two corners and it, it'll work out fine so if you have no corner matchings then you can just do it on any side and then you will get one and then you'll need to do the algorithm again so to fix it. But I only have one, so I can just swap these two and I'll be fine. So the algorithm is which it, which is which will be the first algorithm you'll need to learn. Uh goes like this. R2 U R2 U prime R2 U prime D R2 U prime R2 u r2 d prime okay so once you've done that then you'll get this sort of looking thing and if you now if you if you had no matching with matchings before then now you'll have one pair and then you can put them to the left and then do the algorithm again and you'll get this so now what we do is you have to try and figure out if you have parity Okay, so to figure out if you have parity, what you need to do is, okay, so there are two types of, so now we're basically solving these edges, and then we'll be done. Um, you can still have this on any side, it doesn't really matter. Like, you can turn it anyway, it doesn't matter, because we can just turn it at the end to fix it. So, now what you need to see is, so there are two types of edge swaps you can do. You can do an opposite edge swap and an adjacent edge swap. Now, you can just try to figure out in your head if you have to do, so how many of those adjacent and edge, like adjacent edge swaps and opposite edge swaps you have to do. So I have to do one adjacent and then, and then another adjacent and I'll be done. Uh, but I will show you an opposite edge swap as well because, I mean, I want to have it in the video. So <laughs> I will show you how to do an opposite edge swap as well. Um, so to do an adjacent edge swap, so if you have to do an even number of swaps, uh, it doesn't matter if they're opposite or adjacent, just add them together. So let's say I had to do two adjacent and then one opposite. So two adjacent and then one, one opposite. Uh, if I add them together, that's three. So that's an odd number. So it means you'll have parity. Um, but if it's my case, for example, um, I, I need to do two swaps in overall. So I need to swap these two, and then I need to swap those two. And so two, that means no parity. So that's good for me. But I will show you how to fix parity as well, and how to do the opposite edge swap. Um, so to f to first of all, um, if you know you have parity, skip to a later stage, because I'm, I'll be showing you the adjacent edge swaps right now. So, um, I'm going to show you how to do an adjacent edge swap. And, um, so you have to keep them on the front and to the right, like that, and do this algorithm. So you have to do, sorry, so you have to do R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, and then R, and then that's it, sorry. Oh no, R2. Yeah. 
Okay, sorry, <laughs> so R2 at the end. And then now these two are solved, and then now I just need to do the last two, and I'll be solved. So I just need to do the adjacent edge swap one more time. So that is parity. So if you have an odd number of swaps, well, don't do anything if you have an odd number of swaps. Just keep waiting. So, um, so if you have an odd number of swaps and you try to finish the cube, you might have finished the top layer, but then you'll get that kind of thing. It'll, it won't match up, and then, and then you'll have to do parity and. It sucks. Okay, so, um, yeah. So don't do anything if you know you will have parity. Um, just keep waiting until I show you how to, how to fix the parity. Um, so I'm just going to do the another adjacent swap, and then that should fix the parity, and swap these two at the same time, and I'll solve the cube. So that's R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, and then R2. And then I just orient, orient that, and I'm done. Okay, now I'll be showing you how to do an opposite edge swap, and, and then after that I'll be showing you how to do parity. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've set it up for a opposite edge swap. So I need to make that one go there, and then I need to make that one come here. And these two are solved. So that one there, and that one there. And to do that, basically, I just need to... Um, so I have parity here, so if I do this algorithm, I will fix parity, and I will swap these two. So it will solve the entire cube at the same time. So it's R2, so I'll just show you the algorithm. So it's R2, U2... Sorry, it's okay. Let me do that again. Okay, it's R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2, and that's it. Um, that's that's how you do the opposite edge swap, and now the entire cube is solved again. So now I will be showing you how to do parity. Um, let me just set up a parity case. So if you had parity, then um, it would look something like this. So after, I mean, okay, so now, right now, if you have parity, try to get something that looks like this. So try to make it look like an opposite edge swap will solve, like an opposite edge swap will solve the entire thing. Um, and pretend these are like messed up. So just try to make it, try to simplify it down, like, do all the adjacent edge swaps and the opposite edge swaps so it looks something like this or like instead of uh, red and orange it's yellow and white so try to do something like that and then uh, and then just pause the video right now and then do that and then so and then I'll tell you what to do so pause it right now okay so once you've got down to this part you just have to do a really simple algorithm so um, you have to hold it opposite like that and the cube like that and then you have to do R U2 five times that was one R U2 R U2 R U2 R U2 and there you go you have solved the entire X cuboid so um if you want, I might actually I might show you just a case with parity with adjacent swaps and actually now nah, I'm not gonna do it. So I mean if you'd watch the entire video the whole way through, then you would know how to do every single algorithm right by far. You'd know how to do an adjacent, how to do a opposite and how to fix parity. So um yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like if you like this video Please make sure to hit the like button, which is right down there, as well as the subscribe button, which is right down there. And goodbye, see you in my next video.